The term Argonaut octopus might be a bit misleading. Argonauts are actually not true octopuses. They belong to a different group of cephalopods called the Argonautidae. These are often referred to as paper nautiluses due to the delicate papery shells that some species create. Octopuses have a soft, sac-like body with a bulbous head and eight flexible arms. They lack a shell and are known for their ability to change color and texture for camouflage and communication. Argonauts have a rounded body with up to eight long, webbed arms. Female Argonauts create a delicate, papery shell that provides buoyancy and protection for their eggs, while males are smaller and lack a shell. Unlike true octopuses that have a single, well-developed body, Argonauts have a unique reproductive structure. Females create the delicate, chambered shell as a protection for their eggs. The males are much smaller and lack the shell. This reproductive strategy is quite different from the typical octopus behavior. It's important to note that the term octopus is typically associated with the true octopuses belonging to the family Octopodidae, while Argonaut refers to a separate group of cephalopods with distinct characteristics. The coloration and build of Argonauts can vary based on the species and individual. The animals themselves, particularly the females, are generally pale or white in color. They have a distinctive appearance with a rounded body and long, trailing arms. The arms have webbing between them, which gives them a somewhat umbrella-like appearance. This unique structure allows Argonauts to swim near the ocean's surface, catching the currents to move along. The males of Argonauts are significantly smaller and lack the external shell that the females produce. They are more similar in appearance to typical octopuses, with a relatively elongated body and arms. The coloration of Argonauts, as with many cephalopods, can vary and might be used for camouflage and communication purposes. They have chromatophores in their skin that can change color and patterns, allowing them to blend into their surroundings or communicate with other members of their species. Remember that Argonauts are quite different from true octopuses in terms of their appearance and behavior due to the unique reproductive strategy and the presence of the external shell created by the females. The size of the females can range from around 10 to 20 centimeters in length, including their arms. The size of the external paper-thin shell can be even larger, sometimes reaching up to about 30 centimeters in diameter. Male Argonauts, the males are significantly smaller than the females, with a body length ranging from about 2 to 4 centimeters. Regarding weight, the delicate and lightweight nature of the paper nautilus shell means that they are very light creatures. The shell itself is quite thin and buoyant. As for the weight of the actual animal, it would be just a few grams for both males and females due to their relatively small size. One of the most remarkable behaviors of Argonaut females is their ability to create the delicate, papery shell. This shell is not a part of their body like in true mollusks with shells. Instead, females secrete and build the shell from specialized glands in their body. The shell serves as a buoyancy aid and a protective covering for their eggs. Females will live inside this shell and use their arms to extend out for feeding and other activities. The shell of the Argonaut functions as a buoyancy aid. By adjusting the gas content within the shell's chambers, the Argonaut can control its depth in the water column. This is different from true octopuses that primarily rely on their siphon for jet propulsion and buoyancy control. Argonauts are known for their unique swimming behavior. They move by creating a kind of sail using their expanded webbed arms, catching the wind and surface currents. This behavior allows them to move near the ocean's surface with ease. Males, being smaller and lacking a shell, 
move more conventionally by jet propulsion. Like other cephalopods, argonauts have chromatophores in their skin that allow them to change color and patterns. While they might not have the same degree of complex camouflage abilities as true octopuses, they can still change color for various purposes, including communication and some level of camouflage. There isn't substantial evidence or documentation of argonauts producing distinct sounds for communication or other purposes. This could be due to their different behavior and habitat preferences, which often keep them closer to the ocean's surface and away from the depths where many sound-producing cephalopods are found. It's important to note that the study of underwater sounds is a complex field, and researchers are continually discovering new information about the sounds produced by various marine creatures. If there have been recent developments or discoveries about argonaut octopus sounds. Plankton are tiny organisms that drift in the water column, and they form a significant part of the diet for many marine animals. Argonauts might feed on various types of zooplankton, including small crustaceans and larval forms of other marine creatures. Argonauts are equipped with long, delicate arms that they use to capture prey. They might hunt and consume small crustaceans such as coke pods, amphipods, and krill. While fish might not be a primary food source for most argonauts, they could opportunistically feed on small fish that are near the surface of the water. The diet of argonauts likely includes a range of other small marine animals, such as tiny jellyfish, larvae, and other microscopic organisms. Argonauts exhibit sexual dimorphism, meaning that males and females have different physical characteristics. Female argonauts are larger than males and are the ones responsible for creating the characteristic paper-thin shell. The mating behavior of argonauts is interesting and involves a specialized arm called the hectocotylus. The male argonauts hectocotylus is a modified arm that is used to transfer packets of sperm into the female's mantle cavity. The male then uses this arm to transfer sperm packages into a specialized chamber in the female's mantle. Unlike many other cephalopods that use external fertilization releasing eggs and sperm into the water, argonauts practice internal fertilization. The female stores the sperm in a specialized cavity, and when she's ready to lay her eggs, she fertilizes them using the stored sperm. After fertilization, the female argonaut lays her eggs inside the paper-thin shell that she has secreted and created. The eggs develop and are protected within the chambers of the shell. The shell provides buoyancy for the female, allowing her to stay near the surface of the water. Female argonauts are known for their unique form of parental care. They continue to live inside their shells, guarding and caring for the developing eggs. The shell offers protection from predators and environmental hazards. Unlike some other cephalopod species that engage in long-term pair bonding, argonaut mating appears to be more transient. Once the mating process is complete, the male and female usually go their separate ways. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.